all right hi everybody so I thought I'd make a quick video talking about soul retrieval now this may apply to some of you who are watching um, maybe not but if it doesn't apply to you it might apply to someone you might have come across before so here's the deal obviously we are spiritual beings having human experience and some people are very aware that us as beings within this vessel, this physical vessel, is our soul, the essence of our existence. So, some people, because of the temptation of the material possessions and the physical impulses and what people might think could result in them having the things that make them happy, some people choose to put a price on their existence. So some people uh, use what some might refer to as selling your soul. And some people might literally put a price on it. It happens pretty often in certain forms of entertainment. But this is for the people who might be struggling with trying to retrieve it. Now me personally, I've come across a being or a few who made the unfortunate decision to put a price on their existence but fortunately everything can be reversed at least to some extent but the thing is if you want to do this you've got to be 100 percent convinced that you can do it and you have to be motivated to do it you can't go and keep switching sides on yourself you have to be certain that you want to make this decision now of course a lot of people they'll go down the line and a few years after they've gotten all of the material things that they want, they don't feel fulfilled within. And they're like, man, I thought all this stuff would make me happy. But of course it doesn't. They end up lonely, depressed, uh, often addicted to some sort of substance or addicted to something, whether it be sex or drugs or giving into the temptation of what money can offer people or at least what they could do with the money that they could potentially make. But here's the thing, you can buy your soul back if you're in a circumstance where you're aware of who possesses it, but even if you're not, here's the thing, you've got to go and stop living backwards, because of course, if you live backwards, you spell live, L-I-V-E, you spell that backwards, it's evil, E-V-I-L. Now, of course, you would have to stop being evil. Now, you need to do the opposite of what you've been doing lately of course people sell out off of self-interest so you have to be more of a giver you've got to be willing to get rid of all of that stuff that you acquired through the transaction of exchanging your soul you got to be willing to get rid of all of that it's not important obviously these material things you can't take them with you anyways but you also got to recognize that you need to be willing to die about this we're immortal multi-dimensional we have many lives many existences and if you're watching this video you probably already know that so here's the thing in this life you got to be willing to give everything up including the life itself some people can get their soul back while they're still on this side some people cannot some people have to die about it it's okay Death's gonna happen anyways if death was a bad thing it wouldn't happen to everybody it even happens to the good people good people <laughs> I just hope this helps somebody out. Reverse the way that you have been living. Live, L-I-V-E, which means spread positivity, give, help others, all that stuff that you might have acquired. Now you know that it doesn't mean anything. It might just be better off if you just burn all of it. But it's gonna be a struggle. You might deal with Entities attacking you, your mind playing tricks on you, trying to get you to go back and into your own bad ways. And negative beings will come for you. So you have to be strong and resilient. And just know that the Most High is going to look out for you if he, she, they sees that you're serious about yourself and your enlightenment, your well-being, your development, your evolution. You can get it back. I promise. Either buy it back or live 
and get it back by doing everything that you know was right in the first place. Your intuition tells you everything that you're supposed to do. As far as doing the right thing, you know the right thing to do. Take care of everyone else and take care of yourself. More than anything else, you got to love yourself again. Forgive yourself for the bad decision that you may have made. Take care of yourself. Whatever that might require, even if it's losing your life, whatever it takes, man. See you guys. And remember, there's a lot more to life than meets the eye. So you got to see life with your other eyes, too.